So today for our movement and our focus of practice is going to be around the ribs and specifically focusing on what's happening when we breathe, right? So breathing is how we bring energy into our body. And breathing, think of it as a way of helping your body change shape. So uh, there's this really famous yoga teacher and anatomist called uh, Leslie Kamenoff. And this is his words that breathing is help is how you help your body change shape. It's shape, shape change, right? So you have two parts that support your breathing. It's the abdominal cavity and the thoracic cavity, right? So if you notice when you breathe, most of the time, you should have two parts of your body breathing, right? The abdominal area and around the heart center and the ribs, right? So think of your breathing as like a whole body experience. It's not just in one part of your body, right? And when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, I'm always looking for, okay, how can I bring more balance to both parts? Because sometimes I'll see, oh, they're just breathing with their chest and not their abdominal, or vice versa. They're just breathing with their abdominals and not their ribs or around the center of their heart. So this practice is gonna really help bring some awareness on how can you breathe in this whole body-like uh, movement, okay? Uh, so for today's practice, you're gonna need uh, two things. You're gonna need either a bolster, and if you don't have one of these, no big thing, a pillow will work just as well. And then if you can also fold a pillow in half, that's even more ideal. And we'll talk about that later. And then I always like to have a blanket. Again, a towel will suffice just as well, okay? So let's go ahead and get started on our backs. Let's go ahead and come into constructive rest. So the legs are bent. Good. And then just take a moment here, place your hands somewhere on your body, on your abdominal area, on your hearts, lower ribs, close your eyes. And then begin to feel your breath from here. Can you locate it in one specific spot? Can you trace where your breath is going with your mind? Try not to force anything, just notice, just take note, observing, notice what you notice. Keep one more breath. And then start to bring the arms directly overhead. Good, kind of like you're holding something out in front of your hearts. And then take your hands to your elbows Open up the feet a little bit wider than your hips here. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, send your knees to the right. Let your elbows go to the left. Good, and look towards your elbows. Come back to center. Find the exhale, send your knees to the left, send your elbows to the right. Good, a few more times just like this. Come back to center, and then exhale, find the twist. Good, and then as you're doing this, can you sense the backs of your shoulders sliding and gliding? Can you maybe notice how the hips are in relation to your ribs and to the side bodies? Okay, take one more on each side. And then start to come back to center. Bring your hands to your knees. Start to lift up your feet. And then think of bringing your knees directly over your hips. Good, so you're at the 90 degree angle. And then from here, notice your lower back. If it's really arched, see if you can find it somewhere into neutral. Good, so that there's just maybe a tiny curve in the lower back. It doesn't have to be extreme. Good, and then activate your toes just a little bit here. Lift your feet away from the backs of your thighs. Take an inhale, extend your arms, keeping your hands on your knees, and then as you exhale, tuck the tailbone, bring your knees towards your chest. Good, and then inhale, and exhale. Good, so by doing this movement, we're supporting the exhale a little bit more. Notice how as you inhale, there's a subtle lift of the navel. 
And then exhale, navel comes in towards the spine, bringing your knees to your chest. Good, so this is this abdominal area of breath. A few more times, inhaling and exhaling. Last one. Good, then bring your legs a little bit away from your chest, take a breath in. Slow exhale out. Good, and then with intention, slowly bring your feet down to the ground. Good, take a moment there, feel the backs of your hips, lower spine, relax your shoulders. Good, and then bring your hands away from your heart again, like you're holding something out in front. And we're gonna work on a tiny little movement here to bring some kind of fluidity around the ribs and the shoulders. So you're gonna keep your arms very straight and then you're gonna keep them about shoulder width apart, right? So you wanna make sure that your hands are kind of staying still, they're not gonna separate. But as we inhale, we're gonna push our spine into the ground. Notice how my hands come towards the ceiling a little bit more. And then as you exhale, push your shoulders to the back towards your yoga mat. Inhale, round the upper spine, push your shoulder blades into the ground, and then exhale, lift the heart. Good, inhale, push your upper back into the ground. Exhale, heart softly lifts. Good, take that a few more times. Inhale, and exhale. See if you can keep your arms and your hands really still. We're really isolating the movement that's happening around the ribs around the shoulders. These are all the same muscles that help us breathe. One more. Good, and once you're done, relax. Take your arms into a T-like shape. Take the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Windshield wipe the knees from side to side. Looking in the opposite direction of your knees. Good, and come back to center. Very nice, good. And I'm just gonna scoot up a little bit here, so make sure the camera gets me. So go ahead and come to laying on your side. Doesn't matter which side you wanna do. I'm gonna face the camera first. Now come into this fetal-like position. And then again, you're gonna take the hands away from the heart. This time you're gonna stack the hands, the palms, right on top of each other. Okay, and then your legs, they're not too big of a deal. If you want to like straighten one, if you want to maybe put something in between your knees, if you have any kind of hip issues going on, you're welcome to do that now. Just take a moment here and breathe. Now we're going to bring some awareness to the top hand. Start to walk the top hand out through the crown of the head. As the hand starts to come overhead, turn your ribs towards the ceiling. Let your top hand come back behind you. Good, the same way you went out. Bring it back in, so let your ribs turn, let your hand follow, and then take it back out. Think of like painting a big paint stroke overhead. Good, and then really take your time here. Linger a little bit if you want in some areas, but again, we're noticing how our breath is traveling through our ribs, through our collarbones, to the center of the abdomen. Notice how maybe this feels even around the hips. And then let your knee just kind of naturally come away from the bottom knee too. Yeah, you don't have to keep it really still. Just let the movements flow where it needs to. Take one more. All right, and then come back to center. So find yourself on your other side from into fetal position. Stack your hands away from your hearts. Find a comfortable position for your legs. Start to lift the top arm overhead. Then start to turn your ribs towards the ceiling. Take your arm back behind you. Good, and then come back to center. And if for any reason you feel like there's a lot of sensation around your shoulder, you're welcome to keep your hand on your shoulder 
And then think about your elbow doing the work, right? That takes some pressure off of your shoulder joint a little bit by having to carry the weight of your hand. So this is another option you can do as well. As long as you feel like the rotation is mostly coming from your ribs, coming from the collarbones. Okay, take one more. Start to gently make your way back to center. Come on to your back. Come back into constructive rest. Take a moment here. Close your eyes. Notice how your shoulders are feeling now, how your breath is maybe different. Where did you find maybe some new energy in the body? Good. And then let's come into a hero's pose. So your hips are gonna be back on your knees. And a good way to do this, if you have any knee sensitivity, is that you can take that towel or yoga blanket and you're going to kind of wedge it right behind your knees, right? And then go ahead and sit back. And you can even do that fold again. You can use a pillow, you can use the yoga bolster to wedge in between. This takes a little bit of pressure off your knee joints. Okay, and then let's go ahead and bring the hands to the center of the hearts. Feel the spine nice and lengthen, hips underneath the ribs, ribs underneath the shoulders. Good, take an inhale, lift the arms up, keep the hands pressing in, take the gaze up if that feels nice. Good, start to interlace the fingers, turn the palms now facing towards the ceiling. Take an inhale, and then exhale, round the spine. Good, keep the hands connected, take an inhale. And then exhale, round. Good, as you inhale, see if you can create that little bit of expansion in the abdomen. And exhale, round. Good, it's kind of like you're doing a seated cat cow. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good, take a moment, bring your hands down to your thighs, close your eyes, pause, feel, notice. Where is your breath traveling? How is it helping your body change shape? And then gently lift your gaze, open your eyes. Good, so we did some opening work, some space work here. Now let's do a little bit of strength because strength is just as important for our joints and our muscles. So if you have sensitivity in the knees, go ahead and place that blanket down. Come into a tabletop-like shape. Good, and then extend your right leg back Pivot your heel to the center of the yoga mat. Bring your left hand in, and then start to pivot your ribs over to the right. Bring your hand to the hip for a moment, good. So let's focus on the lower body first. Feel your hand pressing on the floor. Think of lifting your ribs up towards the ceiling. Connect your back foot firmly to the ground. Good, now from here, if you notice that your spine is turned down, think of bringing your right hand to your shoulder, move it a little bit so that the top shoulder is facing towards the ceiling. Good, now take that arm up. Very nice, good, and then breathe here. If you wanna add or find a little bit more of length on that right side, you can bring your arm to the top of the right ear. Yeah, and then reach through there. Good, how can you breathe more into the right ribs here? Two more breaths. Good, then begin to bring that top hand to the hip. Gently turn your ribs down towards the ground again. Bring your hands, bring your back knee to the ground. Let's take a few rounds of cat-cow. So inhale to look up and out. Exhale, push back to cat. Inhale. 
exhale. One more round, inhaling. And exhale. Good, let's do the same thing on the other side. So this time the left leg's gonna extend back. Connect your toes to the ground, pivot the heel to the center. Bring the right hand to the center of the yoga mat. Begin to turn your ribs. There's a rotation of the ribs happening here, just like we did on our back. Good, feel your hand pressing into the ground, ribs lift. Good, and then notice your ribs here for a second, right? Let's be really detailed about this. If you're flaring your ribs forward, how can you bring them back a little bit? Yeah, and then now take the hand up once you have your balance. Head can be looking down if there's any neck sensation, or you can look up if you wanna add a little bit more intensity and then choose your hand placement. You can take your arm right over to that top ear if you'd like. Pick a spot to focus your gaze at. Breathe into the left side body. Find the space where you're breathing into. Two more breaths. Good. At the end of your next exhale, start to bring the hand to the hip, turn the ribs down towards the ground, bring the hand to the floor, bring the back knee to the ground. Find three rounds of cat-cow here. Inhaling, and exhaling. Inhale, and exhale. Last one. Good, start to shift your weight back towards your knees and then take a child's pose here for a few breaths. You're welcome to keep your hands extended or you can bring your hands behind you, either one, whatever works. And start to lift the head up. Good, and now this is where our bolster or our pillow is gonna come into play. This is one of my favorites, so. And you can also keep this blanket nearby if you want it. You might not, you might, you might need it. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna turn towards you and you can do whatever side you want. So most importantly, your pillow or your bolster is gonna go right here, right? Like kind of under your armpit area and where your ribs, your first rib starts. So go ahead and drape your body, coming into that fetal position on your side. Legs can do what they need to do, if you need to extend one maybe, if you need to fold them, okay? And then again, if you wanna use that blanket or towel to wedge in between your knees to take away any hip sensation, you can do that now. Take your bottom arm, create a little pillow, or you can add another blanket here. And then with that top arm, choice to bring it to the shoulder or take it up overhead by the ear. Good, and then while you're here, even though it seems like you might be doing nothing, you're kind of doing a lot and you're doing everything because I want you to focus on breathing horizontally. So as you inhale, think of pressing your bottom rib into the bolster or the pillow, and then your top rib is reaching towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, see if you can slow the exhale down, maybe even come to a count of three. Good, feel free to close the eyes. All right, let's take seven long breaths here. Just go at your own rhythm. And then once you're done with your seven long breaths, take your time here, no rush. Relax your breathing for a moment. Start to bring that top hand down to the ground. Start to press into your elbow, into your hand, and then start to make your way to the other side. So I'm gonna flip sides here so you can see me. Take your time, get set up. You wanna be as comfortable as you really can so that you can focus more on your breathing and less about fidgeting. So start to find that pillow or blanket underneath your ribs. Make a little pillow with your bottom arm. Good, top hand can rest around your heart or your shoulder, or you can take that top hand over the top here. 
Close your eyes and find your seven long breaths. Breathing in a way that you feel there's a horizontal movement to the side ribs. This three-dimensional pattern of breath. And once you're done, start to bring that top hand down to the ground, taking your time. Try not to rush. Try to be aware of every movement you're making. And let's make our way into a comfortable seat. So you can sit any way that's comfortable for you. If that's in the hero's pose, if that's cross-legged, you wanna make sure that your spine feels like it has support to be nice and lengthened. Good, and then let's end with bringing one hand to the top of the heart, one hand to the lower abdomen, close your eyes. Let's do a short little breathing exercise here together. So as you inhale, think of the breath happening around the hip bones, lower abdomen, into the bottom rib, into the top of the heart, and then exhale slowly, let the breath go down into the lower ribs, center of the body, lower parts of the spine. Inhale to the lower parts, center parts, upper chest, Exhale, slow with control. Inhale, bottom of the spine, hip bones, center, upper. Exhale, slowly. One last time, inhale, lower spine, center of the ribs, center of the heart. Exhale with control. And start to bring the hands to the center of the heart space. Acknowledging your effort, your spirit, your mind and body for doing all the wonderful things it can do, all the wonderful ways you create energy. Bring the thumbs up to the center of the brow points. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful and useful and I hope this is a great way to get to know how you breathe better because breathing is something we do thousands of times a day and the more impactful and intentional we can make it, the more it will just affect our everyday living and activities that we do. Um, again, this is Nicole. I hope that I can see you in my live Zoom classes on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. I have the link down below and thank you so much for taking this time to practice with me. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.